welcome. My name is Sam Sino and I'm the Chief of Corporate Strategy and HR and I'll be emceeing our mission celebration today. Uh, we welcome you all to our annual celebration of service to honor and thank all of our valuable co-workers for extending our mission of hospitality in its various forms throughout all of our programs and departments. Those who have achieved milestone anniversaries are being celebrated within their own work units. While we extend appreciation to all our co-workers, today we'll acknowledge longer service workers who have achieved significant milestones of 25, 30, and 35 year anniversaries. And of course, we will be uh, recognizing those individuals who will be receiving the Faith in People Spirit of Hospitality Awards of Excellence. Now we begin our program. Good Shepherd is committed to participating in the aims of the Truth and Reconciliation recommendations and better understanding the issues surrounding Indigenous people in Canada, the impact that colonialism continues to have on Native, Native, Native people, as well as building and strengthening relationships within our community. I would now like to call upon Desiree Fougere McWilliams for our land acknowledgement. Thank you, Sam. Um, okay, so we acknowledge that the land on which we gather is situated upon the traditional territories of the many nations, including the Erie, Neutral, Huron Wendat, Haudenosaunee, Chippewas, and the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations, in what is also known as the Hamilton and surrounding area, as well as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabeg, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat. Wendat peoples in the Toronto area. This continues to be the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful for the opportunity to work and live in this community on their territory. We further acknowledge that colonialism is a current and ongoing process. We must examine our present participation and commit ourselves to understand and then embrace the work of truth and reconciliation to create real change. Thank you. Thank you, Desiree. Um, I would like to now call upon Brother Richard McPhee, Chief Executive Officer of Good Shepherd, to bring greetings and to offer an opening reflection. Brother Richard. Thank you, Sam. As we uh, celebrate this mission week, we remember the tenets or the uh, spirit of St. John of God as we uh, understand him and what he did with regards to uh, serving the poor and his mission of hospitality. Earlier this week, I received a bit of a, a reflection from our brothers, I believe, in Croatia, but I wanted to share that with you, particularly because we're in the se season of Lent, but also because I think that we, we need to understand that John of God was a man who took risks. So I want to share this with you. Celebration in the middle of Lent times may seem strange, but the celebration of the founder of our order, we do not perceive John of God as an opportunity for celebration, but rather to reflect on how the charisma of this great saint is to live even today in our difficult times and thus glorify our Lord. St. John of God had an exceptional gift from God because he was able to react immediately in situations he was put into. When the Royal Hospital in Granada was engulfed in fire, the whole city stood outside paralyzed. But St. John of God did not hesitate for a second and threw himself into the fire to save the sick. He brought everyone out, and out of great surprise and joy of the onlookers, he came out unharmed, perhaps only except for the burnt eyebrows. He didn't fear, because he knew God was sending him inside. He led, cared for, and accompanied him, supported him, and didn't let him down. May we then have the absolute confidence in our Lord, and may 
we be like St. John of God to be able to perceive and respond to the suffering and pains of others. St. John of God, pray for us. As we enter today in celebrating our co-workers, I just want to say each and every one of you have, in fact, been instruments of hospitality. You've been instruments in terms of delivering care and loving to those who are in need. And I want to thank you on behalf of the brothers for being there for them. And in the words of Matthias Barrett, thanks a lot. Doing good for others helps me and also helps our team collectively to be able to realize that we're making a positive change in people's lives. I think doing good for others, it's a privilege that we have working at Good Shepherd to support people um, and help them through hard times. It's about being respectful. It's about being available. Um, it's about listening, uh, truly listening. Every day that I go home, I feel um, really satisfied that I know that I've helped someone that day. So doing good uh, for others means helping them understand their responsibilities while engaging them in life's journey from their perspective. I think doing good for others um, allows you to achieve a broader purpose in your life. Um, it brings meaning to my life, it brings joy. I get to um, grieve with them when they're grieving and cheer with them when they're cheering and I think that that's a really, really good thing. Being able to help people in need, um, people who are struggling, people who have less than you. Um, so when I do good for others, it makes me feel good inside. Um, also help ourselves too, to, to become better people. That doing good for others is doing good for me. Uh, that gives me an inner satisfaction, an inner peace. It really means almost like a sheer for Good Shepherd. Uh, we are here for good, we are here to do good, so um, motivation. By coming in every day, I would like to think that um, I'm doing something. It means so much to make a difference in the lives of the people that I help, um, and that's such a good feeling, and it's something that I am definitely proud of, and that makes me feel good too be fulfilled in uh, my spiritual walk as well. Um, you know, there's a difference here when you get home at the end of the day where you can say to yourself, you know, I, I, I did touch these lives, even if it was just in a small way, and, and that certainly, uh, you know, makes you feel good about yourself. Uh, here for good means to me that we are here to stay, we are here to support, um, and we are here to inspire. Doing good, here for good. I'm doing good and I'm here for good. I'm doing good and I'm here for good. I am doing good and I am here for good. Doing good, 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 here for good. We're not going anywhere, not anytime soon. Shepherd is fortunate to have so many dedicated volunteers whom we strongly rely on to further our mission of hospitality. Among our 5,500 volunteers are board representatives from each of our two corporations.
who together with our other volunteer board members provide effective and responsible governance alongside the Brothers of St. John of God. The first is Jackie Badges, who will bring greetings as the president of our Good Shepherd Center's board of directors. Jackie. Thank you, Sam. Congratulations to all the staff who've achieved these milestone years of service to those individuals who are being recognized by their peers for outstanding contributions through the Faith in People Awards as well. What an honor it is for me as Chair of Good Shepherd Centers Hamilton, along with Chair Shari Junta, who will be speaking shortly from the nonprofit homes, and my colleague from the Board of Directors here in Hamilton, Ed Dunn. You, as the faces of Good Shepherd, have chosen a vocation of service and hospitality to the clients who represent persons from every age and every stage of life and various diverse personal backgrounds, experiences, and cultures. Thank you to the 48 people who have devoted over 515 years to the service of Good Shepherd. You are the faces of Good Shepherd and you are woven into the tapestry of this community organization. Every tapestry is colorful and unique with its landscape full of images. But if you turn around that tapestry, you find many threads of different sizes, colors, and strengths woven in different directions. It's a messy project from behind, but when you turn around, the image is beautiful because all the threads work together to make that image into something wonderful to see. You are those threads in the tapestry that we call Good Shepherd Centers. You work behind the scenes and some be in front of the scenes, but to the world and our community, you represent a remarkable image. Thank you for your commitment to the values, the vision and the mission of Good Shepherd and for being such wonderful ambassadors of hospitality. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Jackie. Our next speaker is Sherry Guinta, president of Good Shepherd Nonprofit Homes Board of Directors. Sherry. Thank you, Sam. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Good Shepherd Nonprofit Homes, what can I say but thank you. As I've served on the Board of Directors of the Brothers of the Good Shepherd, I've heard and learned of the dedicated work and service of coworkers in the organization. I'm in awe of the mission, the dedication, the vocation of all who serve this amazing organization. I want everyone to know that you, every one of you, are appreciated and admired. The work of the Good Shepherd is so incredibly important. I don't have to tell you that, but no. the organization is so hands-on, so in tune with what's happening in our community. I sing your praises to other organizations that I'm involved in. And I congratulate those of you being recognized today in a special way. You deserve the mm -hmm. accolades. So I underline my thank you again. You're important, you're valued, and I hope you love and enjoy the work you do mm -hmm. for a long time to come. We need you, thank you. Thank you very much, Sherry. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to call on Brother mm -hmm. David Lynch, who is the, uh, the provincial for the uh, Hospitaller Order for the province of the Good Shepherd in North America. We're pleased that Brother David was able mm -hmm. to join us. And I'll call on Brother David to bring greetings on behalf of the, the uh, brothers. Brother David. Thank you, Sam. Hello, everyone. I'm delighted to join you today and bring greetings from not only the province, but from the Order internationally. Uh, this week is very important to us. Not only does it culminate in the Feast of St. John of God that we celebrated yesterday, but it's also very important for us because in each of our ministries in North America, we are celebrating Mission Week this week. And what does mission really mean? What does hospitality really mean for us on a daily basis? Our hospitality is very much rooted in scripture. 
that goes back to Abraham and Sarah in the desert when they entertained the angels of God. Um, all through Jesus's life, for example, the story of the Good Samaritan, where spiritual hospitality was metered out to those in most need. Which brings me to another really important part. Um, why people have asked me, why do you refer to the people you employ as co-workers? And that's a very simple answer because you collaborate with us in our mission, our mission of hospitality. And that mission is vital in everything that we do. So you collaborate and play a very important part in the vision of John of God, not only in during his time 500 years ago, but in our world today, which is besought with war and terrorism, uh, uh, rising costs, uh, economy, high inflation, et cetera, et cetera, which is impacting more and more people who in turn come to us for service. And this is where my chest swells with pride when I see the work that you people do on a daily basis. As I go around the province uh, visiting our centers and our locations, um, I'm only 80 kilometers from Hamilton. And on a regular basis, when I do visit there, I always come away thinking, my God, so much is done by so few. So thank you very much for your efforts. Thank you for your contribution. But most importantly, thank you for collaborating with us in our mission of hospitality. Without you, we couldn't do it. So thanks a million. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother David. And uh, we thank you for being part of our uh, celebration today and bringing uh, greetings on behalf of the brothers. And uh, also <clears throat> as a member of our, of our boards of directors as well. And uh, also want to just uh, thank Sherry and Jackie. And uh, I believe that there are other board members, Ed Dunn, that are here as well participating. And my apologies if I miss somebody. There are over 100 people attending today. Uh, the volunteer leadership that you and the boards provide and the impact that you have on the mission is greatly appreciated. And we're grateful that you were able to join us as coworkers as Brother David said, among us in this celebration. So thank you. And thank you, Brother David. We are now into the award presentation part of the celebration. These Faith in People Spirit of Hospitality Awards are presented to any management or non-management coworker who exemplifies true professionalism through positive attitude, role modeling, and performance along with outstanding effort exemplifying our mission, inspired by the hospitality of St. John of God through the lived values of hospitality, responsibility, availability, adaptability, quality, and dignity. There are two categories for this award. And this year, there are four recipients, two in the leadership category and two in the presence category. The Leadership Award will be awarded to individuals who have demonstrated hospitality by being adaptable and flexible to the needs of others, the preservation of the dignity of others, and through effective role modeling that enhances and inspires the mission in others. The first of the two Leadership Awards will be presented by Jeffrey Rouse, our Chief Financial Officer. Yes, good afternoon. It's a really a privilege to be able to present this award. Um, when I arrived in mid-December, uh, I was immediately impressed by the talent in the finance department and throughout the agency. It's just marvelous. Nominated by peers, this award recipient has always been welcoming and attentive to the needs of others. The recipient's friendly demeanor and customer service qualities are fundamental in the successful execution of the job tasks faced. The recipient always responds to the challenges of constantly changing conditions and tight deadlines with positivity. And recently, during several months of heavy workload 
and pressures due to a uh, conversion of payroll. Um, she sh showed leadership by finding solutions and working through these difficulties with a positive can-do attitude. When computer problems seemed unsurmountable, she was always fo solution focused with the goal of assuring that her peers all uh, were paid in a timely and appropriate fashion. As a valued payroll professional, this individual has displayed excellent leadership, commitment, and perseverance in working on and through the conversion and transition to the new payroll. Please join me in congratulating Lisa Marie Palmer in payroll, recipient of the Faith in People Spirit of Hospitality Leadership Awards of Excellence. Congratulations, Lisa. Lisa, would you like to say a few words? Um, sorry, I get emotional. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you for the nomination. It, it, it means a lot to me. Um, and I really couldn't have done this without the support of the finance team, my directors, my managers, and HR. So thank you. Congratulations, Lisa. It's well-deserved. Congratulations. And the second leadership award uh, will be presented by John Lee, director of the Good Shepherd uh, Homes Program. John? Hey everybody, um, we're having a little viewing party with uh, our folks uh, that have received uh, awards. So we're gonna present this live. Uh, um, and uh, I am greatly honored and privileged to present this Faith in People Spirit of Hospitality Award of Excellence for Leadership for Nonprofit Homes. This award recipient has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities that have helped to create a welcoming and supportive environment for tenants, coworkers, patients, and anyone Good Shepherd has been called upon to serve. His leadership style is characterized by deep commitment to patient-centered care and collaboration with his coworkers. He takes the time to truly listen to his patients and understand their unique needs and concerns. His head, oh, his dedication has helped to enhance a culture of trust and respect within the homes program, steps to health program, his collaborative work within reaching home, supports with any, with, within many pandemic responses and his vaccination efforts with the SHIN. In addition to his clinical expertise, he has also demonstrated leadership within the brother's mission. His approach to leadership consistently demonstrates the values of hospitality and preservation of dignity. He is always looking for ways to improve health outcomes for others and enhances the overall quality of care, and he is never afraid to take on new challenges. His leadership has helped to position the Holmes program as we successfully reemerge from the fog of the pandemic, and he has never hesitated to respond to support new initiatives or to lend a hand to others within the Good Shepherd. His contributions will continue to make a positive impact for years to come. Please join me in congratulating Martin Tenkava from the Homes Program, recipient of the Faithful and People Spirit of Hospitality Leadership Award of Excellence. Come on up, Martin. <laughs> Congratulations, Martin. My, my cinematographer, Steven Spielberg, asked me best if you receive it on this side. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I just first want to like to thank uh, John and Brother Richard and Aaliyah uh, for this award. Um, first, I'd like to thank all the, you know, the homes managers, uh, Iris, Melissa, uh, Michelle L, Michelle K, uh, Morgan, Victoria, and Zaneda, um, as well as the admin team, Kim, Kim and Marilyn, for always uh, providing me with help and assistance that I need. Um, ever since I started with the homes program, I find everyone's been very welcoming, very, uh, very supportive since I started here. So I'm very grateful to be receiving this award of excellence. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. And I really enjoyed working my, with my time within the Good Shepherd team. I think a lot of it has to do with my kind of my personal values aligning with those of Good Shepherd. And I mean, I think it's amazing working for an organization that truly 
uh, live their values in the everyday work that they do. And I see that kind of every day um, with all my coworkers and the interactions they have with their homes tenants. Um, and I'm just looking forward to continue to make a difference in the community we serve. And thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for this. Thanks very much, Martin. And, and congratulations. Uh, well deserved. Thank you. Our next award is the Presence Award to recognize individuals who have demonstrated hospitality through responsible stewardship, quality care, and service, and through their availability and presence to others. The first Presence Award will be presented by Colleen Lamond, Chief Operating Officer for Good Shepherd Nonprofit Homes Toronto. Colleen? Okay, thank you. It's an utter privilege to present this award. A number of co-workers have supported this nomination and I am very proud. This award recipient has been an integral part of the Toronto Intensive Case Management Team for almost three years. During this period, they have been a pillar of strength for their clients and peers and have made a tremendous and remarkable impact on our program. They have innumerable attributes that qualify them for this award. They are a devoted and dedicated employee, peer, and mentor, and never cease to amaze those that they interact with. This has been evident in the quality of care, ongoing support, and commitment they provide to their clients and team at large. Their drive and passion for their work is truly noteworthy. They embody all of the organization values, particularly the spirit of generosity and acceptance, which they frequently demonstrate in their demeanor, actions, and interactions with clients. Furthermore, this individual regularly goes above and beyond their assigned duties to support their clients and peers. This has been demonstrated on countless occasions through adapting their schedule to meet the emerging needs of their clients, taking on a heavier workload to support their peers, working later or attending to their clients' needs after work hours, along with advocating for their clients to receive the best possible care. Their determination and ongoing efforts to provide high quality services to their clients have transformed lives. Their hard work has allotted them the opportunity to attain adequate housing, quality health care services, legal assistance, connection to community programs, and sound counsel along with support with their daily needs. Their humility, beautiful calm, warm and caring spirit, along with their strong work ethic, proved to be a true inspiration for all. Please join me in congratulating Nancy Garnett from Nonprofit Homes Toronto, the recipient of the Faith and People Spirit of Hospitality Presence Award of Excellence. Congrats, Nancy. Congratulations, Nancy. A few words from you. I'm not really prepared to say a few words, but thank you. Um, wow, Colleen, that was a lot. <laughs> it didn't sound like me at all. But um, anyways, thank you for that. Um, I don't know what to say. That's it. <laughs> Congratulations, Nancy. It did sound like you a lot. And uh, so it was so well deserved. So congratulations. <laughs> our, our next award is the Angelo Team Spirit Award. And it was established to emphasize the fact that the work of our mission could not be done without the valuable contribution of teams of coworkers within Good Shepherd. Even in John's days in Granada, John needed to rely on others to take care of the needs of the sick and the poor living in the streets and in the shelters operated by John and his followers. The Angelo Coworker Team Award focuses on the coworker relationships as exemplified by the life of Juan de Vila, referred to as Angelo, who was the first paid coworker in the ministry of St. John of God. Angelo was not any different than any of our coworkers. He was one who was trustworthy and reliable and who stayed with John to the very end and remained part of the John of God movement for 33 years after John's death. It was John's goodness and his hospitality that attracted Angelo to him. Angelo earned John's unconditional trust to work alongside him and others that in his letter, John left no doubt that Angelo was his faithful traveling companion and a valued co-worker. Similarly, as with Angelo, the Duchess of Sessa, who more formally was the young Dona Maria de Sarmiento de Cobos Mendoza III, 
Duchess of Sessa, who was a valued charity co-worker and benefactor supporting the work of John in Granada, Spain. She also accompanied John of God when he visited the royal court in her own city and was influential in gaining him access to several noble benefactors who donated jewelry and money for his hospital at Granada. To present the Angelo Coworker Team Award is Catherine Kalinowski, Chief Operating Officer for Good Shepherd Centers. And I'll call on Catherine. Thanks, Sam. It is my distinct pleasure to present the Angelo Team Spirit Award today. We have a bit of a departure this year in that we're making this award to not one team at Good Shepherd, but rather to four teams, four unique teams made up of people with a diversity of skills, experience, and talent, all with the common goal of extending care, respect, empathy, and concrete assistance to community members, women, youth, men, and families who are struggling to survive the crisis of homelessness. This year, we're recognizing the teams at the Good Shepherd Family Center, Women's Services, the Good Shepherd Center Men's Services, and Notre Dame Youth Shelter for the tenacity, compassion, and creativity they bring to their work. And when I talk about shelter teams, to be clear, this is not just the case managers who do exceptional work in shelters. These are broad, deep teams with all kinds of folks involved in meeting the needs of the people who come to our programs. We're living in exceptional times and nowhere is that more evident to me than in our shelter programs. The advent of the COVID pandemic resulted in a radical reorganization of work in shelter settings. Physical distancing, screening, swabbing was just the beginning. Establishing new shelter beds in hockey arenas, hotels and vacant schools followed. Supporting individuals experiencing homelessness as they isolated and recovered from COVID infection was a necessity and shelter teams responded. As staffing pressures emerged in shelter programs, these teams responded again and again. The collective goal of service continuity was achieved as a result of the flexibility and incredible availability demonstrated by the co-workers in every role in each of these shelter settings. COVID's not the only factor that has placed unexpected demands on our co-workers employed in shelter settings. We're experiencing economic conditions that disproportionately impact the most marginalized members of our community, driving job and housing losses and deepening poverty. At the same time, the lack of safe, affordable housing has reached a critical level. As a result, the demand for emergency shelter far outstrips the system's capacity. The teams we're talking about and celebrating today, working in our shelters, all too often are forced to turn people away and or responding to the needs of people placed in overflow beds because there's simply nowhere else for them to go. But that's not all. Locally and nationally, we're in the grip of a devastating opioid crisis. The impact of that scourge is witnessed daily in our shelters. Shelter teams armed with harm reduction strategies in the lock zone are often the buffer between life and death for some residents. These are truly exceptional times. The landscape in our community has shifted in a dangerous way for far too many of our neighbors. The tru this truth is played out in our shelter programs every day. Every day, shelter workers in every role ensure that safety plans are made, health and social services are provided, meals are served, bathrooms are cleaned, phones are answered, data is reported, always with the ultimate goal of offering dignity and hope to shelter residents. Extending radical hospitality, creating spa spaces where change can truly happen is what happens every day in Good Shepherd shelters thanks to the tireless efforts of these four teams. These folks are on the front line of responding to the inequities that challenge community members, and they, but they clearly work from a place of hope and faith. They could all tell you stories about the pain and loss they bear witness to in their work every day, but you're far more likely to hear from them stories of hope and celebration. This is, these are teams of people who show tremendous resilience, who are steadfast and who are very, very much on side of seeing success for the people that they serve. They drive from a client-centered direction and want to see stories of celebration. They'll tell you about seeing the mother and child who finally feeling safe are laughing together, sharing the excitement of a newcomer family who's found their first Canadian home finally, supporting a youth and reconnecting with family after a long celebration 
celebrating the achievement of a door with a key, with a lock, where nobody uses your towel, with someone who slept rough far too many nights. Each of the four teams that are receiving this award today have a distinct culture and a distinct makeup, different positions, different ways of working, but they're all com connected by their commitment to social justice, to equity and hospitality. Their work is very challenging, and yet they support each other unreservedly and they work miracles. So it is a great pleasure to see each of our four shelter teams across Good Shepherd receive this Anglo Team Spirit Award today. Thank you. How oh, wonderful. Thank you, Catherine. And thank you to all the, shel the wonderful shelter workers uh, out there on uh, the receiving the Anglo Team Spirit Award. Well deserved for all of you. In keeping with the shelter theme, I now would like to call on Brianne McLean to make a presentation of the Faith in People Spirit of Hospitality Award to be given to someone in the shelter uh, programs. Yes, hi everyone. Um, it is my honor to speak about this person. Um, this person is Hector Velez. He absolutely lives the mission of Good Shepherd. Hector is a valued colleague who has been with the Men's Center for 20 years. He faithfully arrives to work every day with a fresh and positive attitude. He confidently rolls up his sleeves and gets to work immediately to serve breakfast to our residents. The most impressive quality about Hector is the way in which he treats our clients. He treats them with nothing but compassion and genuine kindness, enabling them to get the care they need. He takes the time to develop trust, treats them with dignity, and creates a safe environment for all. He cares about the people we work, we serve. Hector is always available at a moment's notice when help is needed, whether it's being to ensure a coworker safety, pick up extra shifts, heavy lifting, organizing, and it's always without hesitation. He is flexible and adaptable to help a client or colleague in any type of situation. This individual is open to new ways to engage with clients and improve the program. He has a great relationship with all his coworkers and they have immense respect and admiration for him. It is important to acknowledge and recognize the impact that Hector has had in the lives of the people we serve and on, on the men's program. I am honored to present this award to Hector and honored to have met him and work with him. Please join us in congratulating Hector Velez from the Men's Center, recipient of the Faith and People Spirit of Hospitality Presence Award of Excellence. Congratulations, Hector. Being here for people that really need it, people that come to the, have to come to the shelter because they don't have any other place to stay and because they're hungry sometimes. Uh, sometimes sleeping in the park benches and everybody and uh, under the bridges and stuff like that and when they find a place like the good shepherd and we can get him inside and give him a, a warm meal and a clean bed to sleep that's that's for, for me that's doing good that's doing good for somebody else that really really need it so congratulations are extended to hector on a well-deserved award and as a special note that Hector did receive an award similar to this in 2012. So uh, certainly his service throughout the years has been continuous and steady. And so congratulations to Hector and congratulations to all of the award recipients uh, uh, today. Um, now, I think we have another special presentation or acknowledgement to make. Today, we're also going to recognize co-workers who have achieved significant milestone and anniversaries with Good Shepherd. Combined, they have over 180 years of service, and each of them have been a vital part of our Good Shepherd mission. Heidi Billiard, Director of Tenant and Housing Services, is celebrating her 25th anniversary with Good Shepherd Nonprofit Homes. Heidi started her career at Good Shepherd as property manager before being promoted a year later to assistant director of housing. Heidi assumed the role of director of tenant and housing services in 2005 during a time of significant growth in Good Shepherd and of the housing department 
that provides life safety and building supports to all of our programs and maintains excellent relations with tenants housed and supported by Good Shepherd. Congratulations and appreciation are extended to Heidi. Lisa Klinger, director of our Reaching Home Division, is also celebrating her 25th anniversary with Good Shepherd, having positively impacted many programs throughout Good Shepherd. Lisa began her journey with us as a relief counselor in our Women's Center, then as a part-time case manager, program development worker, and then program coordinator at Somerville House in the Women's Program. In 2005, Lisa took a slight detour to extend hospitality at the Good Shepherd Food Bank as a food bank worker before assuming a role as the program manager at the newly opened Family Center in 2008 before becoming the director of the program one year later. More recently, in February of 2021, Lisa opened the Reaching Home program as its first director, the role that she continues to hold today. Congratulations and appreciation are extended to Lisa. Catherine Kalinowski, Chief Operating Officer of Good Shepherd Centers, began her career with Good Shepherd 30 years ago as a relief worker at Martha House. Following a two-year temporary full-time contract as a frontline worker, Catherine assumed the role of supervisor at Mary's Place and Martha House until 1999, when she became the co-director of Women's Services. In 2006, Catherine opened the Family Center as its first director before assuming the role of Assistant Executive Director of Programs one year later. To later assume her current role of Chief Operating Officer for Good Shepherd Centers in 2017. Throughout these 30 years, Catherine has steadfastly advocated for marginalized and vulnerable members of our community and has earned a place in Hamilton's Gallery of Distinction for her amazing work and contributions to our community. Congratulations, Catherine, and many thanks for your 30 years of hospitality toward others. Lori Matwichuk, Program Manager at Mary's Place, is celebrating over 30 years of service beginning her career with Good Shepherd as an assistant counselor before assuming the role of outreach aftercare worker in 1999. In 2002, Lori moved into the program coordinator role at Mary's Place and program manager in 2005. In 2009, Lori extended her leadership as director of the women's services programs for a one-year period before returning to her former position Due to expansion of the women's program, Lori once again stepped up as the program manager of the newly created SOS program before returning once again to her program manager position at Mary's Place in 2021 at the height of the COVID pandemic. We congratulate and thank Lori for her 30 years of hospitality toward women who rely on Good Shepherd to provide a warm, welcoming and secure space for those in need. Helen Ballack and Anne Gail Rosen are both overnight residential workers at the Good Shepherd Nonprofit Homes MANS program, who began their journey to Good Shepherd in the same year, 35 years ago. They were initially hired by the Scarborough General Hospital in the Scarborough MANS Road program that integrated with Good Shepherd in 2012. Their 35 years of service each includes 23 years with the Scarborough Hospital. In their current roles, Helen and Anna Gale work collaboratively and skillfully to assist in enhancing the life skills of adults in our residential programs who live with complex mental illness, may engage in substance use, and may have experienced significant trauma. We are pleased to have welcomed them to Good Shepherd 11 years ago and equally pleased to congratulate each of them on their 35 years of service and hospitality to the residents of the Man's Road program. Thank you both. At this point, uh, we're going to announce the winners of the Social Committee Mission Week raffle. 
But first, we would like to acknowledge and extend our appreciation to the social committee who work hard on behalf of all of our co-workers to spread the spirit of hospitality within our workplaces and raise funds to maintain the social committee program. As part of our mission week, the social committee ran a hospitality raffle. And here to announce the raffle winners is Leo Fiorillo from the Human Resources Department. Leo? Hi, everyone. Thank you, Sam. Uh, are you able to provide me with a drum roll for this one? Or... <laughs> Um, the grand prize winner, I'd like to thank everyone who supported the social committee. We collected $715, and the prize is going to someone in the Homes program by the name of Tina Mulholland, and she's taking home $357.50. So I've got a bag of money here for her whenever she's available to come and get it. <laughs> Please let her know if she's not on the call right now. So Great. thank you for that. Great. Thank and you. Yeah, We're moving along to our second prize winner, which is a $200 Walmart gift card, and it's going to Rico Gambali in the finance department. So congratulations, Rico. Congratulations, uh, Tina, and to Rico. Thank you very much, Leo, and thank you very much to the social committee as well. There's actually one more. Oh, okay. Great. This is the third prize. It's a $100 Walmart gift card, and it's going to someone at the Barrett Center by the name of Erica Davies. Congratulations, Erica. Great. Congratulations, so thank you, Erica. Everyone. Thank you, Leo, and, and uh, extend our, our thanks to the social committee as well. Thank you. Prior to calling on Brother Richard for closing remarks, um, we'd like to conclude our program with a video. Uh, prepared not so long ago, some of you have seen it, but it's still relevant today, as always, to thank all of our co-workers of Good Shepherd, those who are celebrating milestone anniversaries this year, those on the front lines, and those in the back offices every day ensuring that our mission is never compromised, and to all of our Award of Excellence recipients as well. Thank you, arigato, gracias, obrigado, merci, vale, venha, vá. Danke, tanta grazia, quitos, gratis, diviago, tac, con sonido. Mahalo, que ora toda pona, muchas quiere dan con a sante chucra. Haristo trima calci che che Ura un gusta culo agua y espasiva nandris a la mar grata Malo, anuri dos mi, guado tapadla. Mahalo, que ora toda pona, muchas quiere dan con a Santa Chutra.
Okay, I'd now like to call upon Brother Richard McPhee for closing remarks. Thank you, Sam, and thank you for all the work that you've done uh, in terms of putting today's event together. As we come to, together to celebrate our co-workers during this mission week, I want to say thank you on behalf of the brothers and on behalf of our board of directors. Um, I want to say danke. I want to say grazie. I want to say asante. I want to say merci. But most of all, I want to say in the words of Matthias Barrett, thanks a lot. You truly have made a difference in so many people's lives. You continue to do that each and every day because that's what we're here for. That's why we get up every morning so that we can continue this mission of hospitality to our brothers and sisters in need. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Richard, and thank you all for attending and congratulations to all our award recipients. The recorded video will be made available to all coworkers who weren't able to attend today and we'll hope to get that out soon. So have a wonderful day, everyone, and thank you all very much. All the best, happy Mission Week.